Well, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm back again with a, a short update on the restoration of the uh, 57 Ford Ranchero. As you can see, I've uh, had to do a lot of body prep before I actually go to continue with the trim detailing. Um, there was quite a few scuff marks down the sides of the body. So it seemed easier just to remove the old trim, get rid of the, the marks on back down to a smooth skin, and then re-trim re it using evergreen strip and, and sheet, depending on the pattern um, that I'm going to re-trim it with. As I, I'm totally decided on not going for the, the stock pattern that was there. Now I've got, a, an, a, as it were, a clean piece of paper. I can come up with my own couple of designs I think and filter that along and I want to try and tie in if you've seen the earlier videos I'm in the process of making a sort of uh, camper back conversion for it so I want to try and tie in those together uh, in some fashion don't know exactly how um, I've also cleaned up a uh, I can grab that. A couple of uh, uh when they come round, I'll just have to move and sit down again. It's easier to do it this way around. Cleaned up a couple of Corvette grills to nick their teeth. And using both sets of uh, floating teeth, I should fill this gaping great hole that's al along the front of the car. Um, as you can see, I've totally stripped one set, have I? You are nearly totally stripped. And hopefully, with the two of those, I can section them and expand them. As you can see, one has got decidedly bigger teeth than the other, but I think I can fan them down. When they come round again, that's the outer rims of the Corvette grills. Um, I'd say these are quite a deeper steps. So I'm thinking if I use those as a central piece and then extend out the sides with that piece till I come to the the width that I want. Uh, that's the update on the Ranchero. Um, it doesn't look a lot, still got a free roof and a spotty interior, but it all took took a lot of time. You know, you're sitting for quite a few hours sanding away and filling and flatting and doing it all again. Then washing it all and leaving it to dry and waiting for all that and starting it all again. And I think it's fun. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Best wishes from jolly old England. Bye.